In this lesson, we're gonna take a look at the concept of unit price. And so a unit price is just simply a unit rate where the top number or the number in the numerator is always, um, is just always money, okay? So usually for us, it's either gonna be dollars or cents. So um, unit prices are something we encounter all the time. We see them in the grocery store listed on uh, price tags. Um, and it tells us basically how much we're getting for every unit of that particular item, right? So meat is so sold in dollars per pound, right? So we know for every pound of meat we buy, we're gonna pay this much money. So it allows us to compare things of different sizes in the store easily. And so we'll do that here in this example, um, taking my favorite food, which is ice cream. Um, so it says Ben and Jerry's 16 ounce ice cream is on sale for $2.40. Dryer's 48 ounce ice cream is being sold for $5.75. Find the unit price of each ice cream in cents per ounce. And then after that, we can say which one we would buy. Uh, but first of all, cents per ounce, okay? That means we want our answers to not be in dollars per ounce, but cents per ounce. And so um, let's first just take our dollar amounts and turn them into cents so we don't forget about that so we understand that two dollars and forty cents well a dollar is one hundred cents right so this two dollars is really two hundred cents right so th this is two hundred forty cents and then our five dollars and seventy five cents is just five hundred seventy five cents and since it's a unit price, like we said, dollars are always on top or cents are always on top. Um, and then the unit of what we're purchasing is on the bottom. And so we have 240 as the dividend and 16 as the divisor. So 16 goes into 24 uh, one time. One times 16 is of course 16. We get a remainder of eight, drop down our zero, and then 16 goes into 80 five times. And it turns out five times 16 is exactly 80, so that's nice. So what we have here is that for Ben and Jerry's, the unit price is 15 cents per ounce. All right, so we'll do the same thing with the dryers. Okay, so we'll take 575, divide that by 48, and pretty clearly 48 goes into 57 just one time. And looks like we need to do a little borrowing there. So our seven can become a 17. Five becomes a four. So then 17 minus eight is going to give me nine. So we get a remainder of nine here. Drop down the five. All right, so 48 goes into 95 actually only one time. It just goes in once. Um, turns out two times 48 is 96, but that's just one too many. So one times 48 is 48. And at this point, we can tell already which one's gonna be the better buy, right? That's not too big of a mystery. Um, the dryer's just gonna cost us less per ounce, we can already tell. But uh, the question did ask us to, did ask us to find the unit price of each ice cream. It didn't just say to say which one we would buy. So. Um, and it said to do it in cents per ounce. Now you might look at this and say, all right, well, I got 11 cents, about 11 cents per ounce. But remember, whatever you're asked to round to, you need to go one digit more in your division process because if this next digit is five or greater, we know that we would need to round this one up to a two. So let's, let's find out. So I wanna drop that zero down. Now 48 goes into 470. Well, if you think about 48 times 10 would be 480, 
which is just barely too much. So I'm betting it's going to be 9. All right, so 9 times 8 is 72. Carry that 7 over there. Oh, sorry about that. Carry the 7 over. 9 times 4 is 36. Uh, plus 7 is 43. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, and so do a little bit of borrowing here. So 10 minus 2 is 8. 6 minus 3 is 3. And so this 11.9 should clearly round to 12. So dryers is about 12 cents per ounce. So dryers is definitely the better buy. Um, however, for anybody who's ever had Ben and Jerry's before, um, you go ahead and throw math out the window after we do the problem and buy the Ben and Jerry's anyway, even though it's more expensive. But technically, dryers is the answer to this question.